I'm absolutely melting. Hence the hence the Hawaii shirt. Jeez. <laughs> Controller just went kind of mental there. Yeah, exactly. Where's the blue hair? Also, I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. I don't... Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Shut up. <laughs> I don't think it would have been unreasonable for the driver to just like stick out an arm and <laughs> right. Just a little love. Face tap. <laughs> Holy shit. I think she's absolutely binned. She's swearing at signs. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> yeah, okay. Those guys need to get a room. Why don't you tell them that? Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. Anything. She just likes to I watch. Understand. I understand, really, and, and it won't ever happen again. I swear. You can trust me. I promise. But pond, ponder. Do you? Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> <laughs> Home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Oh, I'm practically. Oh, I was gonna say I'm practically glowing. Is there a kitty? Let me in. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. <laughs> it's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scrap. Yeah, get right. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Uh, could run him over with the RV. That would help. Maybe. Can I get in? Oh, maybe. Now, what to draw? Oh, crap. That's so annoying. I've never actually owned a fake ID. Definitely, absolutely not a like, meth who, lab. Like, who did you buy it from? Like, <laughs> who is, or is that is that totally outing your your dealer? <laughs> oh, fair. Oh, come on. 
machinery. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. I think some fake <laughs> Hey, y'all. Oh, I can just... Wait. Oh, I thought I could just go through. <laughs> that would have that would been a lot easier. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Someone from my school went to this really... Oh, I thought I could go past. Damn it! Keep walking, kid. Someone from my school went to this really niche Welsh uni to study... Military history, I think? He did, like, reenactment and all of this kind of stuff. It was, yeah, an interesting, interesting decision. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Fallen at the first hurdle. Oh, I can chuck gas on it, maybe. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Maybe if I do like a like a circle round him and then set fire to it. Got it. Again? What do you want, kid? I want to come in. That your bike over there? Yep. Hello. It's uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? Hello. Uh. This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. What are you eating? They're awesome. Nope. What? Are you kidding? You should probably just go. Well, gonna have to shout at you. Oh, what? This is cool. Black eyed beans. Nice. Okay. Let's I dance. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Oh, okay. Here we go. Isn't it past your bedtime? Uh, bedtime. Okay. He's hit me with bedtime. <laughs> it's, this is this is cool. No bedtime. Your bedtime. I ain't got no bedtime, homie. I don't sleep. It's for the week. <laughs> <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Uh, cute, okay. Cute is relative. Riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like Red Sonia riding a panzer tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Uh, this isn't a playground, yeah, homie. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. I don't... I don't need protecting. Um... I'm not worried. What happens to me is my business. Let me worry about that. My, my boss will kill me if I let you in. Bosses suck, though. Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. <laughs> okay, you're funny, but that's not the point. Knock knock, obviously. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? It's me, your balls. <laughs> being a scared little douchebag and let this totally cool chick inside already. You. You're not accepting no for an answer. I absolutely nailed that. No. Nope. <laughs> it's 
And you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> Is this flirting? I give up. <laughs> Is this how people do it? <laughs> Go on in. I'm very confused. <laughs> This is intense! Oh, oh shit! Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. That's not a dog, that's a demon from hell. Look at his face. Sweet tank. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. That's not it. Okay. I'm gonna lose my hand. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Deal you. Oh, fair enough. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. I've heard. Have you not been to much recently? I take. 20 bucks, baby. 20 bucks? That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine. 20 bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. <laughs> this is so extreme. <laughs> Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! The man's just trying to sell shirts. Thanks for playing, Dick. Yeah, I'm um, going to see a band in like. I think it's the end of this month for like eight pounds at this little bar. It'll be really cool. <gasps> Wait, it's him. Yo, Frank. Hey. Chloe. I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for oh, a nice. year. Oh, nice. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. There's a couple what um good doing? ones coming up in London. I'm here I saw uh, Not to Loose are coming in like How'd you August? even hear about Something this like little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. That'd be pretty that'd be wild. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna steal. Never mind then. Uh, suit yourself. I'm just selling back heroin also. I've not heard of them before. Also, I've never been to a reggae gig. I feel like that would be really cool. Um, now I take. Oh yeah! Sweet, sweet victory. Yeah, I can imagine it being good. That's like 200 bucks. Oh, easy. Yoink. Holy shit, I'm rich. A 
are they outdoors or are they in like a small venue or she returns about that weed uh, here it comes toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square hey hey what are you waving around this kind of money here for you really don't think before you act do you nope so where's my pot uh, no more loans. yeah I'm not your fucking piggy bank you're a good man Frank no yeah, Jazz Cafe no. is supposed to be really nice. I'll beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I'll see you later. Whatever. Yeah, I think Jazz Cafe is quite small, um, which just means like you get really close to the stage and really intimate. <laughs> This guy's dying. Got some water. This is a this is a brave, a brave one. Spin. Sit and spin. <laughs> I don't think he's drunk. I think that man's cardiac arrest. What was that? 300 dock workers laid off, their pensions cancelled? God, Chris got a real tool. Get a better view of the action from up above. It looks like I'm about to fall through that. Wait, is this? Is this the mill where? Um. God, it's been so long, like two weeks since I played the last oh, Life is Strange. Yes! Where the dark room was. I can't believe it.
Yeah, for sure. That's fine. Got to lose, I want to know why. Because he went at Firewalk last night. And for Frank was there, he's my dealer. Oh, Max, get called out. Just she has a black eye. Oh my lord. That's a lot of reading. That's a hell of a lot of reading. Wait. I don't know, it's only four pages. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm no completionist. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That terrible news, my fellow girl. Our very own Pacific Was that really Rachel Amber? I smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Does I get to pick Mr. Sharky? Why would you tear that down? <laughs> okay. Forget I'm live. <laughs> uh. Oh, get a pick. Um, Firewalk's probably a bit sus. Let's go for the Nirvana-esque looking one. Hmm, that was cool as I thought it would be. Sorry guys. This is now The Sims. Well, not so. We're going sussy. You. Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> Can't leave without my vitamins. I don't think I've ever closed the drawer with my hip. Uh, I really or should not get living? going. Ask Miss Arcadia. Ugh. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. FM, the Seder is supported by listeners like you. So, feel free to donate money if you want to. Anytime. Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Joey, I said breakfast. Guess I better try you calling did. my phone with moms. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Um, true. Uh, can you, can you call your phone? Oh, okay. God, I hate you, man. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. It's in the toilet. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Zero. She got a Hello Kitty phone. Uh, 
the hell is Elliot? I think I saw mom's purse in her room. <laughs> Pretty, uh... Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe Pretty... I should dye my hair gray. Pretty simpy from, uh, from Chloe. <laughs> Don't tell me where the purse is. I don't know where. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not <laughs> like we have any money. That's real, real risky going through your, going through the drawers in your parents' bedroom. Uh... Chloe! Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? Pretty dead. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Okay. We're going to talk about my black eye. <laughs> Coming, Mom. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. <gasps> is this a plant I can water? Um... Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? <laughs> I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the clarification. Hey, mom. You wanted to I'm talk? I'm not a teenager. Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Mm. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe. 
You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. <laughs> he can be old fashioned. Yeah. An old fashioned dickhole. Girly. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four <laughs> eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Please. Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that... Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But, Mom... The whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Joyce is kind of sick, though. Respect. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I can't, I can't be hitting Dad was a good man. It's too brutal. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. Yeah. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. <laughs> Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such bullshit. Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic <laughs> piece of shit, frankly, Holy. and... If your father could hear you... No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. Imagining it. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced her father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. That's right. A brutal thing to David's say to your waiting. kid. I miss you. The keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Why not put them in the slow cooker? Ashtray. Ooh. Is that an ashtray? Yes. Here they are. Okay. Let's maybe. get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They'd better get going. I want to want to the plant. 
It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. Oh. Um, I'm gonna say. Yeah, that was not cool from Joyce. I revoke my previous statement. Oh, hello, Steph. Don't shit. What's this? <laughs> yeah, true. True, true. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Slam the hood. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you <laughs> men will leave without us. You damn women. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. <laughs> no wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. When I was your age, His I got, got better. my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. Sparks. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. No. Nah. School's hardly worth walking to. Oh, I was going to use the bike. <sighs> no, I don't. I don't hate him either. He's a bit of a dick, but... He's a bit... What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. He's a bit backwards. Does he think he's moving in or something? He does save Max. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 50 50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60 40. Maybe 90 10. Yeah, I mean, if he. He's like literally coming in and like trying to father her. That's not. Like, you just can't be doing it. It's like he's like trying to replace her dad, which is, of course, she's gonna be like, "Fuck off." A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. And he's obviously being a bit of an ass. See what's gunking up the works there. That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Put cheese in his car. <laughs> what the f oh how you do anything is how you do everything unsolicited bump now oh. I need a shower. wow wow david <laughs> hey, you're taking those tools with you right every house needs a good toolbox <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Let the handbrake go. 
ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Oh, let's get arguing. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything You've he had has a to holiday say. From What's clear a is fuck figure. you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Oh, Language? <laughs> French is language. Hell don't give a shit. I think that's good. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it Let down. Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? <laughs> oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. <laughs> You're breaking her heart! Your fake-ass concern can eat a dick, and so can you. Oh shit, the I fucked army? up. That kind of talk would get you assigned to KP duty for a month. Bill of Rights, fool. Doesn't the Constitution say no soldiers quartered in civilian homes without consent? Because for the record, I do not consent. Look, now, in this Come house, on. I have my job to do, and so do you. Have you considered telecommuting? I feel like you could keep us safer from Florida. Ooh, get wrecked. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. <laughs> the smug look. Ha <laughs> Sleeps for a week. <laughs> Absolutely obliterated. Country music. Dad loved this song. Oh, I know this. I just called to tell you that I miss you. Oh, I feel like I know this. What a beautiful day. Oh no, is this a car crash? Dad, turn it up. Why am I being chauffeured? I guess mom left her purse back here. Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. I know what a spark plug does, jerk body. Oh no. So brutal. I literally hadn't thought about it, and then. Hey. <sighs> the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Whatever. Whatever. You're welcome. Hello, Black Hell.
<laughs> With the outpost that say drugs mess you up. <laughs> Doth I get to be in the play? Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Hmm. Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Cringe. Sorry, mate. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. <laughs> He's the new Warren. Right. See you in Yay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Oh, Victoria, put her in. Wait, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the loop. One sec. One sec. Be right back. Um, first thing, song very cool. Yeah, because I remember seeing the, the Life is Strange, like the Before the Storm album, and there's not many, like, ones with, it's mostly, like, no vocals. Um, except for, was it Burn It Down? And like maybe a few others. Um, yeah, also, yes, every game needs a warrant. Oh, Carrie Price! 
face. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Oh, she's, you don't still, say. <laughs> she's still a prick. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about Wait, that. She's a what, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? I don't want to talk about anything with you. Go away. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. He murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Thanks. I mean, look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening She's right looking now. for dirt. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for... I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. <laughs> Why does she walk like that? <laughs> um, right, DVD. Where's Gok? Is he alive? Oh. Wait, is this... Gok? Yes! He lives. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. <laughs> Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? I really don't care that much. Doing nothing <sighs> is just as bad as doing harm. Pretty Gawk. sure that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Oh, they're playing D and D. &D. D &D from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey's. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge. It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> no, don't, no, we're not. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad I someone here what? appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the I've shitty played... voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. <laughs> dream life of a real life. That's my motto. I have to play D&D. &D. Is right that on. what you're saying? Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? <laughs> Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just got a like a friend Rachel? thing? Yeah, what's it to you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, 
I don't have 50 hours It's most right of now. this game. Thanks, so. though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do? 20 for minutes! <laughs> 20 minutes! Okay, okay, right, okay. What the hell? Game on, okay. nerds. Right, I can, be, I, can, I can do it, I can try. Here's a character nice. sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure okay. nerd way? <laughs> Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but... Also a barbarian, so like, really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You are Absolutely both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. <laughs> Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Bob. Calamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Ah, uh, uh. come on, let's. It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. Alamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius <laughs> owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. <laughs> Dur -dur. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? <laughs> I'm very tempted to hit leave game just to wind you all up. <laughs> um, let's get some loot. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc oh. who immediately shouts wow. and points. There are a it dozen raiders set. on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? He's cast Girthy's acid all blast. Hell. Um overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a <laughs> sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Tickle him. Um. Fatal Cleave, Knee Slam, Pommel Strike. 
Eh. Orcs have weak knees. Let's go I for it. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, <laughs> never to father children again. Ouch. <laughs> Your turn again, Chloe. Uh... Yeah, I like Steph. She's cool. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um, what did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. Well, axe this pommel. Sucks. <laughs> it's alright. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his war hammer at your head, barely missing your move. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. It's such a yeah. new move. Hey. I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. <laughs> You'll pay for this. I've actually never played D&D, but I think I'd... I kind of think I'd be into it. Isn't it really complex, though? There's, like, so much that you need to learn before you can actually, like, start playing. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. What's next? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. Aww, he notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. Uh, he okay. shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. So are these Got like presets, or are you making them yourself? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Oh, uh, okay. Um, more acid. <laughs> you want bread? Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. Because what you're you pretty say? much making the story, Listen up, right? you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't... I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Got really? It. Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use... Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice yeah, and close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. I kind... What do you say? I kind of know... Oh, shit, I need to be... Dragon's a pussy! Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. Got ya. That was a mistake. The dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one up. is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. Shit. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. <laughs> I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. No, no, please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgeron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. Um. I show him my fist. I call this the Ripper, because it's really good for reaching down dragonkin throats and ripping out dragonkin stomachs. The dragonkin uh, okay. cowers before you, looking left and right. 
because he opens his jaws and you people think don't he's want about to, to do the ending. Is that I right? interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Okay. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does yeah, that sound? Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragon kid <coughs> as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. I did too. Awesome. Yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I think I'm I'd, on it. I think DM would be quite them, fun. The prisoners run away from you. I feel like you'd have theater. to be quite close to all the people you're doing it with, though, for it to not be like, as you say, like it's tent intimidating. Time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. <laughs> He's what a do you huge mean? red eyed minotaur, what do you mean swathed in a fine Jesus. black cloak, gripping a two handed sword that's Jacked. easily six feet long. You're saying I'm not his creative? Bellows. <laughs> I'm wearing a pink shirt. That's how creative Your I am. Your lands and people are already <laughs> mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. <laughs> Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. <laughs> All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Um. Kick him in the balls. Kick him in, <laughs> kick him in the balls again. Um. Okay. Oh, holy shit! Uh, Annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, oh, I see. three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. <laughs> this game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, <laughs> stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Cut off his hands, too. Tabaxi. Tabaxi. Oh, it's not the like. Jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Uh -oh. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Can I win an argument against him? Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid <laughs> Sorry, voice. everyone. I've got to stop to lick my I'm butt. I'm sorry, Chloe. Oh, hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. <laughs> you feel Not good for your game strength fight. draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Um, I piss on him. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The <laughs> one with the fire 
bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Come on, 50. 20. Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame. Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. Oh. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. This can fuck I actually suck. feel sad right now. <laughs> Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. Mm. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. How many people do... Is it usually like three or four that you play with? DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. That's how much I'm like... How much I usually see in like media. Uh, what am I doing? I want to see the drug sign. <laughs> you just ruined that guy's whole day by killing his character. What the hell? What have you got here? Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. Twitch. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Wow, you told him. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Excuse me? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. Yeah, you I want to see this fight. To buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. Whoosh. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Oh, fuck. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. Oh, my you're gonna get swung for. At the shipyard, when your dad closed it down, and you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. The hell is that? You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. <gasps> That's going in the water. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. Do you it. guys. Eyebrows. Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Oh, let's argue. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Her voice is so annoying. Back what? off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off. Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You know what's crazy? What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? <laughs> uh. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> <laughs> did you just laugh? Do you like that I one? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go, Samantha. Wow. Wow. 
Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. He's gonna go home Take and listen your to picture book. Mazzy Star. <laughs> Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. Oh. People think just because of his family. David? Everything okay here? How are you? <laughs> no problem, Skip. <laughs> what? Why does everyone walk like that? <laughs> He's... See that hip movement? Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go with that blunder? If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. <laughs> oh, good. You're here. <laughs> oh, did I miss it? Oh, God damn it. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating. <laughs> and to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, okay, you're under I'm still having Keaton. trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? <laughs> Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. <clears throat> She's the touching question us. is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? Inexperience. Clearly. What do you think? Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Did Thanks, I, Mr. Keaton. Did I nail later. it? See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I like it. I like your shoulder pads. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, <laughs> fall down. It's so cute how, Should like, hard it? she's crushing really? on her. I know, it's. <laughs> I'm just like. Oh. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. This. 
RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Mm. What to say, what to say. Bit of much. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Get owned. A Nimbus 2000. Times are hard for elite private high schools. Is that a button? Pe Pepe? <laughs> what? Shakespeare's my home. Less talk, more belts. <gasps> There's a half naked woman in there. Um. Less simp. I'm liking the music in the background of this as well. Save my life. Get some ink. It's a really shit halo. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, is it? Oh, it's for, yeah, it does sound like her. Now you said it. Elena? I think her name is. I'm not even going to pretend I know it's Elena. <laughs> uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Easiest decision of my life. Um. Ah. Uh, awkward silence. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think you'd come back here. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. She I'll looks, let uh, you finish changing now. She's panicking. <laughs> she's pa we're panicking. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? She's touching her hair. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Also, just noticed that Chloe hasn't got any of her tats yet. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Um, That'd be kind of cute. Yes, please. P 
people won't shut up about it. Hold still. ASMR, you have been punched. I cover up your bruise. This is a lot <laughs> of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Did you just slap my butt? You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the oh, hell this are we is... getting into here? This is where Chloe nearly lost a leg. To me. <laughs> where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Mm. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Yeah, they can't go slow. <laughs> Rachel oh. wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. A crate? No, I'm sitting next to it. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Oh, God. Nope. Sing next to you. Squid jump. Just another typical day skipping school with Rachel Amber. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? Is that <laughs> totally checks out. Oh. <laughs> that was my own impression. Take it or leave it. Yeah, get, getting run down, run over by a freight train. Not cool. It's <laughs> heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Mayhaps I sit on lap. Please. Please. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train yeah, with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? <laughs> is that what this feeling is? Play, play it cool. Is this it's nervousness? So Dry heaves. <laughs> Sweat bullets. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've got to do it. i got to see what happens. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. <laughs> it sure is. Oh, no. <laughs> so, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Why are we talking about Creepy Keaton? Uh, hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that 
why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Mm. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That was cute. That's it. That's a good thing. I love comfort. Don't. Ugh. So not her. Am I gonna? Am I gonna play the like? Ah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be X, alright. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun. Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. <laughs> Panicking. <laughs> Panic. Oh, that that leg is giving me anxiety. You're gonna lose that. Yeah, definitely gonna have to. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. <laughs> I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three stressed. facts about themselves. Two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. Easy. I'm gonna nail this. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Me neither. Not a world traveler? <laughs> Not yet, at least. <laughs> that would have that got it. you travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You're not a Leo. Shut the fuck up. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? Ooh, that'd be cool. Like Artemis. But oh. I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Fuck. Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there, though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. That's New, York's New York, on the isn't bucket it? list, then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Isn't Long Beach... Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? I thought Long Beach is New York. Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Um... Give her a lie. There you go. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I'm allergic. Mm. I'm allergic to cats. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? I swear. Okay. I thought she likes country music. <laughs> yeah. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. <laughs> A 
I used to love country music when I was a kid. Oh, shit. Now it makes me want to yeah. throw up. Literally. That's weird. Ugh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Why look at my hands? I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. Does she I have the answers on her hands? Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's... Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. I wanna see- I wanna see how she's gonna react to this. I'm sorry I said anything. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so not smooth. Obviously true. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling live. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Oh. Well, I didn't know. This is fucking. This game's rigged. <laughs> it's been set to fail. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Uh... Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. That was the right, that was the when right choice. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Oh, shit. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. <laughs> but eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Yeah, she did get it right. Hell yeah. The Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, 
but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Oh, I can't say we trust her too soon. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. <laughs> Puts on country music, throws up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Hey, wanna listen? It's a bit like Lila Foy, but it's not her music. I take it back. <laughs> it's definitely not her. So I know we can leave, but I'm also just vibing. Be listening to the soundtrack. <laughs> cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Oh. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach, or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. What brought that on? Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, be Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Do it. Fuck it! <laughs> that was creepy. Can we have the junkyard? I'm Nathan. wasn't <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't thinking about it <laughs> yeah this this is the old term pretty sure this one Hey, 
say. <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. Yeah, smack it. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Well, I'm ambidextrous. Oh. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love Oh shit, that's his brother. Oh, that sucks, man. for her. Um. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. How about the axe? Sextant. Why not? Stop sextanting the interns. <laughs> I don't get it. Here, woodland creatures, have some self respect. <laughs> okay, very cool. Oh, if yeah, Max were here, know. she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. Maybe I could have Jimmy the Squirrel into the thing. Hello. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. I could. Wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. May hops, you give me quarter? Hey, spare some change? Sorry. We might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? <laughs> this place has really gone downhill. 
Shh. She's right there. <laughs> I think they think you're homeless. It helps you give me wine. Please. And what's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. I don't think. Can I? <laughs> My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. As she. Be can use the. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are. From baby whatever egg. is around you. <laughs> Let's just say. <laughs> Maybe this is just a quarter in this. Looks like this one might actually be working. I don't want to head down there just yet. Oh. Well, um, hmm. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Okay, thank you, game. Good thing I can use. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh mm. Sure, let's try it. Looks so easy in the movies. They had a knife. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Um, exchange them a nail file. <laughs> it's really like quick thinking to give her the uh, periodic table for fuck you. Hello, would you like a nail file? What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. Um. Please. Ah. Where's that car? Maybe I can... I'm gonna need a bigger prior majigger. I know. Ah. Oh, for God's sake. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Press got power, activate. Oh, dude.
Anyway, game over. What the hell does that mean? Is she gonna kill her? <laughs> I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. That one's broken too. Rachel smells like Jasmine. <laughs> Is she smelling me right now too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it. I do that in my head during like every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. All right, easy. Um, I do her. Wait, why can I not look at the woman? Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God. You just have the best ideas. <laughs> um. Oh, Lord. He's definitely just come out or something. Hmm. What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth. Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. <laughs> now, <laughs> lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. All right. Let's see. Wait. After this, wanna come home and listen to my Spotify playlist? Is it the kind of listening where you Spotify? have to get under the covers to really appreciate the music? Yes, and clothes really mess with the acoustics, so. <laughs> I thought this game was old. <laughs> Wait, when does Bob fuck? Ash. <laughs> no matter. Think this guy's married to a nutritionist? He's all like, I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home. So. I'm so glad I became a lawyer. I love getting paid in fries. Hey. Do you think he represents the hamburglar? Wouldn't he be paid in hamburgers How are then? You? Shit, you're right. <laughs> I didn't realize Spotify was. Uh, this is fun. That old. Who's next? Isn't it like. Was it Diesel oh, or something like sorry. that? That was pretty big. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Oh, I didn't think it was that modern. <laughs> Jackpot. Wait, that's her dad, Commence right? Makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, man. That's, I'm pretty sure that's her dad. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel? Oh, shit, son. Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, okay, let's do it. Hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. She's gonna nick the wine off that couple's table. Lord. <laughs> the 
They have a bottle of wine. Oh, Lord. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store I, instead. <clears throat> no. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. <laughs> Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. That's what that's Better what I do fast. when people see me. What what do we do? Um, Should we check her pulse? Didn't you used to be a lifeguard? Give her CBR! Do I not Here's steal it? I think I remember how to save someone's life. Yeah, I guess I'd remember something like that. So then you do it. <laughs> Don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining the thoughts going through Rachel her is waiting head for me to make my move. As I stood over, <laughs> so, get the fuck away. <laughs> Um. I think I have to. Do I have to? Rachel needs, and the Oscar for best distraction of wine-toting picnickers goes to <laughs> Rachel Amber. Better play my supporting role and grab the wine fast. Oh, fine. Sweet. I can't remember if you said, um, Panther, if you'd watch, if you'd played Life is Strange before. <gasps> Take oh, a heart thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. We're I starting need to get an argument. To focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go. Sterilize the wound. I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look uh -huh. closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. <laughs> Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? I fucked up. <laughs> that was a, that was a poor decision. Rachel, run! Oh, oh, no. oh bollocks! Oh, we got the wine. Come on, why is this its fault? <laughs> So, maybe room. your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, true. She doesn't need any wine. That would it, things would get ugly. I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. <laughs> God. I am excessively sober. Right now. Ugh. Chinning red wine right. like that. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Yeah. I didn't do wine though. I drank like um, Stella Cider and things like that when I was younger. That was like my first drink of choice. I drank everything. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? That and then I started like drinking Cronenberg. Like the bottled ones. Mm. Great. It's a 
pile of trash. Uh, yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I remember one of the first times... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I remember one of the first times that I was, like, really drunk when I was young. I'd, like, stolen a load of, um... Damson gin from, like, our, like gin gin covered no alcohol covered like the family one and uh yeah that stuff is so sweet and i was so so sick it's not good uh... i've heard that actors are moody but yeah wow rachel i'm not moody I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about... How you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Wow, Rachel. Uh, okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel. But apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. <laughs> I can work Don't with that. <laughs> Sorry, I have to be done. <laughs> Score. <laughs> Here, if you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. Gonna break your kneecaps. Run. Jesus. Jesus. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you <sighs> kidding me? I I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! I don't think this is flirting. Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? <sighs> fuck it, we're not friends. I mean, fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. We ain't friends. You know, like, a friendship. But more. Oh, God, we're done. Ah. Oh, no. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Oh no, she's not gay. Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I'm really... Really sorry. But I can't. I can't. Even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is.
Goodbye, Chloe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh fuck. Damn, I'm glad she's dead. <laughs> fuck this place. Oh, is it going to be burn it down? Let's go. Say, did I say man? Where's my phone? Oh, uh, mum. I'm busy smashing stuff. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. never understood your heart on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. I wanna smash a car. If you wanna rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Oh wait, is that a truck? Dad! Oh, fucking hell. Just comes out of nowhere as well, like freaking. <laughs> oh, that better be rust. That's so grim, if not. Crying, sweetheart. Is this James William? 
because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? Oh, oh. What's past is prologue yeah, that's and really shit. Good. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. And lost her as well. Yeah. That's, yeah, the soundtrack of this is absolutely banged. Hey, where's my marker? I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Here you are, William. Back off. Oh. There it is. Sometimes, people need you, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> Even when they don't admit it. That was terrifying. What the fuck? Dreams for her dad getting hit by a car are super brutal. Oh, and she's sleeping in the. Oh, oh, God. I can't even imagine how traumatic that would be. <laughs> can't can't see through the tears. <laughs> Ugly crying. Snot bubbles. <laughs> You came. Hmm. I'm glad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Not the time. Wait. Me too. I shagged me too. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe... I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. 
You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Oh shit, so that's why we... Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. No one's safe. No one's safe. No one's ever safe. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Yeah, I, f I can't. I can't read her at all. Chloe, I owe you an apology. <laughs> Immediately restarted the game. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation <laughs> floundering and maybe a slight buzz from that wine i just want yeah. you to know i'm lucky that you were with me today you're a badass chloe price what remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill you talked your way right past him you saw that and those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs you dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Yeah. Only because you showed up at the last minute, and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. This is kind of like how my annual review went today at work. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Wait, what? Sorry, I missed that. Her dad? Fuck him? <laughs> Sorry. 
Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. <laughs> so, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. I borrow your lighter? Oh shit, son. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it immediately takes off top. There you go. Wonders about forest fires. Why did we sign the petition? Well, that's Washington bent to the ground. Is there going to be some, like, murder mystery? Is he killed that woman? That was fucking sick. <laughs> um... I'm gonna say it. I actually think I preferred that episode to any episode in Life is Strange. Right, that's the end of the stream. <laughs> um, 
I don't is that is that controversial? That was really good. Okay. Oh sick, okay. Not controversial. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, I was. I don't know. It just felt like the, um, like the emotions and stuff. They've just really. I don't know. The characters just seem more relatable. Not that like Max is relatable, but like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel like they're kind of the chemistry they have and stuff as well. Yeah. The anti rewind. I'm about to rewind. Yeah, I totally, like, I think the fact, what, like, kind of struck me is, like, obviously, um, Chloe has, like, throughout the whole of LAS has just been, like, hyping up Rachel, like, she's the best, she's, like, like, totally, like, love her, and then this, they've brought her in, and it's like, oh, yeah, yep, yeah, I can see why. She was fucking awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next. Uh, same time next week, I think. Let me just double check. I'm not doing anything. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Yeah, same, that, same time next week. Um, oh, yeah. So let's let's have a look at our. Uh... You attacked. Yeah, obviously. You were mean to Joyce. I was mean to Joyce. What did I do? Um, sorry. Let me. Wait. Wrong button. There you go. Uh, wait. Fucking up. There we go. You mean to join us? You defended Nathan. I'm kind of surprised that. Oh, I guess everyone just wants to go for the argument, right? You told Rachel you're the more than just friend. Yeah, no. Twenty. Who said your friends? I don't want to call anyone out in the stream, but. If they, uh, that's, uh, that's coward, that's cowardly. <laughs> I actually didn't defend Nathan. But... Oh, really? Yeah, to be fair, just, like, having him sit back, just sitting back and watch Nathan get beat up. Fair play. Uh, right. Wow, her eyes are wide. No one steals from me. Oh. I want my fucking money. Oh shit, it's the t-shirt guy. No, 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 no. Sorry, I just saw it starting. <laughs> oh. It's different, it's burning now. 
Wait, what? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> okay, okay, right. Oh. Ring on next week. Ring on next week. Okay, yeah. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been fun. Um, yeah. I will, uh, one sec. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Catch you. Yeah, catch you next week, hopefully. Bye.